Hey y'all, I'm in a different setting. I'm in a different setting. Um, my bedroom, anyway. So I figured y'all would be happy that I'm not recording in the bathroom, even though it's like, it's perfect. The lighting is perfect. Um, you know, you can sit the camera in the medicine cabinet, all that good stuff. So anyway, um, I came from skating tonight. Today is Tuesday. $2 Tuesday um, is like the best session of the week. Even though there's kids there, <laughs> it does not matter. Like the music is on point and that's all that really matters. Um, and honestly, skating around kids makes you, or at least me, makes me a better skater because you have to be prepared to probably hop over one of them at any point in time. Um, cause they go every which way, you know, I call them kamikaze kids cause they be trying to take you out. They take themselves and you out if you're not paying attention. <laughs> but, um, so some of you may have seen, I posted two skate videos, number 79 and 80, two skate videos because I randomly ended up at the skating rink yesterday. Um, there are no Monday sessions, but since it was the holiday, Veterans Day, um, they decided to have a special session. So what you saw was like an empty rink because people don't come on Mondays because it's not open. So, um, but yeah, on Tuesday, there's definitely a lot more people there. A lot of talented skaters come on Tuesday. Um, I get to practice a lot. You may not know it, but yesterday, what you saw on camera, I was practicing because I it may not seem like practicing, but for me, practice is being more comfortable on my skates, doing whatever it is that I feel like doing. I just want to be comfortable doing it. And um, yeah, I've been skating for almost three years. December 1st will be three years. So I picked it up as a grown... <laughs> I say grown ass woman. I picked it up as a grown ass woman. Um, somebody invited me out and I was like, yo, people still skate? He's like, yes, we do. And when I went in there, I was just like, wow. And I was, of course, intimidated. Um, but I kept coming back and I've noticed improvement with myself. I've come a long way. Um, people have noticed that I've improved. Um, I at one point I started to get people randomly stop me and tell me you have gotten so much better because there was a time where I was just like look don't skate near me because I can't navigate around you I will fall on top of you like just yeah I couldn't turn to skate backwards yeah I couldn't stop properly <laughs> All of that, and I don't know if anyone noticed on my skates because my friends zoomed in on my skates. Um, I don't have any stoppers on the front of my skates, so I learned a long time ago how to skate without stoppers and how to stop without them. And when I would go to the skating rink, I would just practice on a bunch of stuff, a lot of basic stuff. It may not seem like I'm doing anything, but I can just be practicing turning to the left because it's easy for me to turn to the right. I just practice turning to the left for a good portion of the session or practicing lifting my feet up because I notice as a new skater it's like absolutely terrifying to lift your feet. But lifting your feet is I guess where the magic happens. You have to you have to not be afraid to lift your legs and step and cross and all of that stuff. So I would spend a session just lifting my feet up, just lifting my legs and just being more comfortable. Um, you know, just doing the basic stuff. But if you if you master the basic stuff, you can get into all that other funky stuff. And I have to say honestly that my friend, she happened to be with me so I went to the skating rink. It was random because my attitude was funky and I needed to skate it off. <laughs> and I always wanted to capture skating, but of course I'm too busy skating. I happened to have my camera 
couldn't even tell you why I had my camera, okay? But I happened to have my camera, and she was there. And um, before I uploaded, you know, a couple of the videos to YouTube, and actually I have more footage, but I, I just didn't put it up. But while I was watching, that was the first time I really got to watch myself skate. Um, people have taken videos before and you just may see me skate by real quick but they're actually concentrating on somebody else or something but I've never seen me skate <laughs> of course like how would I but it was like it was very interesting I've been told by some people that they like to watch me skate and now I see what they're talking about because as I watch myself skate I have, I am turning into the type of skater that I used to admire when I go to the skating rink and it's not like they had any particular style because there are a whole bunch of different styles of skating. But these people just go, jam to the music and just do whatever they felt like doing and it was just so smooth and graceful and it looked effortless. And I always wanted to say, I just want to skate effortlessly. I want to skate like me. I want to be me. I don't want to skate like anybody else. I want to do what I feel like doing and feel comfortable doing it and not have to think about it. Um, and, and that's, I guess, the point of me practicing the basics when I go to the skating rink. So, um, what else? What else? What else? But yeah, I watched myself. I honestly kind of started to get dizzy because I'm like, do I really turn that much? But there was a time, and I still do, there was a time that I would make it a point to do more turns. And of course, like I said, turn into the left because turning to the left is more, it's harder for me to do. So on the right, it's easy. I turn back around and, you know, I'm right handed. So I guess that's why it's easier that way. So. Yeah, I'm always just practicing the basics and just want to be more comfortable being me because I like to dance. Nobody nobody would know this. It's not like I've shared that here and on YouTube because it's usually makeup and hair and stuff and apparently whatever else I feel like discussing now because it's my channel. <laughs> but anyway, I like to dance a lot and there was a time when there was a house party and I don't mean a party at somebody's house I mean house music and I don't mean crappy electronic stuff I mean some deep house with the bass is gone and it just take you back to the motherland and the beat is just gone and I can just zone out and do my thing and I kind of want to be that way on skates I want to zone out and do my thing and you know so more practice means I'll be more comfortable just being me and bringing Christy the the dancing fool <laughs> to the skate floor so I haven't mastered dancing on skates but yeah I haven't mastered that yet but I just I just want to groove with it and just go with the music and just do my thing and Lord, I wish somebody was taking me tonight because I was really, really feeling it. Um, really, really feeling it. So, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, skating is awesome. I have stopped doing everything else. Like, I haven't, I haven't really been to a club. Well, not a club because <sighs> a party. I have to say a party because when you say club, I think of people go somewhere to stand and hold up the wall and they don't go to dance they go to people watch and leave with somebody I haven't been to a party in a minute where I go to dance <laughs> and I go home like that's my thing I will just dance the night away and that's how people know me and it's funny I'm not a popular person at all I'm not extroverted at all but people know me through my actions and if I'm in a zone and the music comes on, I just zone out and I don't care who's looking. That's just how it is. So people know me from dancing like, yo, I know you. You've been dancing all night. So, you know. Um, and now as far as skating, I skate all night. <laughs> so it's, it's, uh, it's rare 
that I stop. Um, usually I have to not be feeling the music and honestly what they were playing last night that's not the music I would like to to skate to but as I've become a better skater um, you just learn to skate to things that you really don't care for or as long as it has a certain beat you can make something work or I would just spend the time like you know what I'm going to practice doing such and such while this song is on. You know, so I'm always doing something. Um, this video is totally random. I'm not even sure what I was going to talk about. I guess skating because I'm still like on my little skate high. Um, and I have to tell you, I don't know what it is that I do, but my triceps are sore. Like I don't, I don't know. Like I had to like stretch a couple times tonight on the skate floor. You would think my thighs would be burning or something like that. No, triceps tore up. What did I do? I have no idea. No clue. Um, yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> let me see. Is there anything else to discuss? Anybody interested in skating? Like people are so kind of turned off from it because they're just like, "Well, I used to skate as a kid, and now I'm old, and blah blah blah." I'm like. Don't let yourself get old, I have to say. I'm older, like, my birthday was on Sunday, y'all. November 10th, my birthday, and I saw Justin Timberlake on my birthday. He serenaded me on my birthday. <laughs> anyway, but no, don't, don't get old. Like, continue to do what you like to do. Like, I didn't get into house music until later on in life. Um, I didn't pick up running. I used to run. I didn't pick up running until later on in life. And I sure enough didn't pick up skating until almost three years ago. So don't let yourself get old or inactive or whatever. I mean, I can see if you really have some issues and like health issues or something, but if it's something you want to do, do it. Life is too short and I'm not going to let my age stopped me from doing something new and fun. So, and this is, uh, that, that's Cody. Anyway, so, yeah. So if there's any, if, if y'all want to pick up skating, I highly recommend it. Um, if anyone has any questions about it, let me know. I figured out how to respond to people on on YouTube after they switched up and like added Google Plus and I'm trying to reply to people and it's not working. It was just like you're not authorized. I'm like what? And so I realized I had to kind of at the person's name in order to respond to somebody. I don't know what's going on with YouTube and Google Plus but they need to get that together. I was thinking to myself that I had to like in order to respond to y'all, like put a video up to respond to questions <laughs> or comments all the time. And I'm like, this is not going to work. But this morning, what in the world? What did you do? I don't know what's going on. I just had some water skewed on me. It had to be from him. I don't, are you wet somewhere? What did you do? He's wet somewhere. Anyway. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to comment until today. Um, yeah, I was thinking I had to do a video to respond to y'all, but now I figured it out, so, you know, whatever. But yeah, if anyone has any questions about skating, um, definitely post them. I'll answer them. Because um, like I said, I picked, them up. I picked up skating as an adult. And I still remember, you know, when I first started and how terrified I was and, you know, I've just, I've just stuck to it. So I spent like the last, it's probably like the last year and a half, close to a year and a half, I dedicated more time to skating. And I said, look, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on skating backwards. I'm going to work on turns. I'm going to work on 
whatever it is. Go ahead and do it. There's a skating rink near you. Go hook it up. It's a lot of fun. It's good exercise. I haven't been to the gym since I started skating, really. I haven't run. I haven't been swimming. I haven't been dancing because I dance on skates pretty much. So, you know, I jam. Like, I can't say I dance dance, but I just get my groove on on skates. So that takes care of all of it. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend it. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. I need to go eat something. I'm starving. <laughs> but, uh, thank you all for watching, subscribing, checking me out, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you.